Hello, my dears. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa, and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shkwetmek people. Today, we are going to sing our bluebird song. Then we're going to read one of my favorite stories about a girl called Sarah. Then we'll play a sound game, do a poem, and say goodbye. Let's start with our bluebird song. Sing along if you like to. My story is here. I'll bring you closer so you can see. Here we have a book called Big Sarah and Her Little Boots. So here we have Sarah and she looks like she's all dressed to go outside in the rain. She's got her umbrella and her rain hat, her raincoat, and her yellow rubber boots. She's jumping in a puddle. This story is by Paulette Bourgeois, and I think the pictures were made by Brenda Clark. Let's see what's inside. There's Sarah's boots and some socks. Sarah loved her boots. They are shiny and rubber. And in the rain, they get even shinier, like her yellow rubber ducky. When Sarah jumps in the puddles, her boots go pit and the water goes sploosh. One day, Sarah tried to put on her boots. She pulled them with all of her strength. She scrunched up her toes. She pushed her heel as hard as she could. But her boots would not go on. Oh dear. Sarah took off her socks, but even with bare feet, her boots wouldn't fit. Oh no, said Sarah. My boots shrunk. They got smaller. Sarah tried to pull her boots to make them bigger. She pulled on the heel and she pulled on the toe. She pulled as hard as she could, but nothing worked. So she called her little brother Matthew. They attached the top of her boot to Matthew's horse and the bottom of the boot 
to Sarah's tricycle. They pulled just until the ropes were tight, but nothing worked. Does Sarah look happy? Mm, she looks a bit frustrated. Sarah gave her boots to the dog. He pulled and growled and she did the same. But nothing worked. Sarah tried to blow up her boots like a balloon. She took a big breath and blew until her cheeks were empty, but nothing worked. She filled her boots with rocks and the boots got very heavy, but they didn't get any bigger. Sarah planted her boots in the garden where the sun was hot and bright. She watered them and waited, but the boots didn't grow. Sarah was very sad. Her boots didn't fit anymore. Her feet were too big for these boots. And it was so sad because Sarah loved those boots. Mama, said Sarah, my boots shrunk. They got smaller. Hmm, said Mama. I wonder if maybe it's you who got bigger. No, said Sarah, my boots shrunk. Hmm, let's see, said Mom. And she measured Sarah. She measured to see how tall Sarah was. Your boots didn't shrink, said Mama. It's, the, it's that your body grew. We're going to get you some new boots. But I don't want new boots, said Sarah. Sarah and Mama went to the shoe store anyway. There were lots of different kinds of boots. There were boots with rainbows, red boots, purple boots, plaid boots, and even boots with buckles. The shoe seller showed Sarah some yellow boots with a red stripe around the foot and the top. They're adorable, don't you think, said the seller. I don't want new boots, said Sarah. Her mom bought those beautiful yellow boots anyway, the ones with the red stripes. The next time it rained, Sarah put on her new boots. They were not as shiny nor as yellow as her old boots. And when Sarah jumped in the puddles, they just went ploof, and that's it. A little while later, Sarah's mom asked her if Matthew could put on her old boots. Matthew was so happy when Sarah said yes. So Matthew put on her old boots and he said, look, look how shiny they are. They're yellow like my rubber ducky. Now, when Matthew jumped in the puddles, the boots went pshit and the water went sploosh. I hope they don't shrink, said Matthew. Oh, don't be silly, said Sarah. Those boots won't shrink. It's your feet that will grow. Matthew, 
Matthew and Sarah jumped in the puddles, and suddenly it didn't bother her any more that her new boots went ploof instead of pshit. Sarah had become a big girl, and now when she jumped over top of the puddles, and when she jumped, her yellow boots with the red stripe went zoom. The end. I like that story. So now we're going to play a sound game. I'll show you what I have. We'll talk about the sounds and then we'll play the game. So here we have dog. Dog. Dog starts with the sound d. d. Can you say d? Dog. And here is a vase, vase. If we had some tiny flowers, we could put them inside. We can call it vase. Can you say vase? V. And here we have key. Key starts with the sound k. So we have d dog, v vase, and k, k key. Now I'm thinking of something here that starts with the sound k. k. Did you say key? It's key. Key starts with the sound k. k. I'm thinking of something else here that starts with the sound d. d. Did you say dog? Dog starts with the sound d. Dog. We'll do one more. I'm thinking of something here that starts with the sound v. v. Did you say vase? Vase starts with the sound v. Vase. Thanks for playing with me. Now we'll do our rain poem, and then we'll say goodbye. The rain is falling all around. It falls on field and tree. It falls on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you soon.